All right. The court is calling 2019 CR 4221 and 2022 CR 3449W, State of Texas versus April Zuniga. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Brittany Sparks. For the defense? Brian Kimber. Zuniga. And are you Ms. Zuniga? Yes, ma'am. We're proceeding by video in both of these cases because of the pandemic. Any objection from the state? No objection. Any objection from the defense? No objection. Are you the same April Zuniga who was placed on community supervision in 2019 CR 4221 for the offense of driving while intoxicated third or more on November 4th, 2019 for a term of five years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Judge, violated condition number one on or about the 19th day of December 2021 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, April Zuniga, committed the offense of burglary of a habitation in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that, true or not true? I plead no contest on that. No, this is the motion to revoke. You either plead true or not true. Um, true. State? Yes, Judge, we waive all other violations. Any objections to uh, the waivers, Mr. Kimbrough? No objection. Ms. Zunica, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number one, the court could find it true, grant the motion, and sentence you up to six years in prison, $1,000 fine. Did you understand? I cannot hear you. Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number one? Yes. Court will find violation of condition number one true. Is there an agreement? We're asking that you deny the motion, continue her on probation, and run it concurrent with the plea agreement. In Ms. Zunik, are you asking that the court follow that agreement? Ms. Zunik, <laughs> yes, we are asking. All right, can you- Yes, me? please, yes, yes. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Um, yes. And Zunica, I'm showing you what's entitled application for community supervision. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, I'm showing you the discovery acknowledgement. Have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Ms. Zunica? Yes, ma'am. Are you not able to find a place other than a commercial restroom? Um, okay, no, I just came out of there. Sorry. Because I was in like right here at my son's school for the pickup. Okay. Sorry. So no, is there some other place other than a restroom? We don't want to hear toilets. Flush. Oh no, 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 no. No, I mean, no, yeah, I already came out of there. It's just because I was in my son's school, like picking them up. So I'm like, I'm not in the restroom. So did you just leave the restroom? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, Ms. Zuniga? Yes? I don't understand if you're super distracted at what's going on. My questions that I'm asking are straightforward questions. Yes, ma'am. So do you not understand what's going on? No, I do. I do. It's just, I mean, um, it, it's like either like, I mean, it's like I've been, I, I've been in this system like several times and like, I mean, there's times like I'm like, I'm real, like if I know what I've done, like, it's just like the scary part is when you hear Let's like, do this, oh, Ms. Ms. Zuniga. Ms. Zuniga? Yes, I think it would make everything go smoother if you would stop using the word like. Okay. Okay. So, do you understand what's going on? Yes, ma'am. Are you distracted? No. Did you understand you're charged with burglary of a habitation by force? That's a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. The court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Outside the pre bargain agreement, the state is recommending that your community supervision be for a term of four years. There will be 120 hours of community service, restitution, substance abuse treatment facility, no contact with John Henry Cavazos, 
Michael Martinez and Elizabeth Martinez. Did okay. you understand that those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offense is charged in the information. How do you plead guilty, not guilty or no contest? No contest. State any evidence. <laughs> any objections? No we will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waiving consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and will do the same. All right, after reviewing, see, Miss Ms. Zinica, you are not out of the restroom. You are still no, in the restroom. I, I, no, I, think, I know, I know, I, I have to come back inside. Yeah. All right. After reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find that there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, I would ask the court to follow the plea bargain. Yeah, if you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? They should be negative because I just did my PUA with my with my probation officer this month. I, I, no, no, no. You're, you're going to do I'm another to, UA. Yes, I'm supposed to do a UA. I, I'm supposed to have a probation visit on Friday. No, no, no. You're going to do a UA tomorrow. So uh, we're going to sentence you to four years in prison, suspended and probated for four years, $1,000 fine probated. This is ranked concurrent with 2019 CR 4221. 120 hours of community service restitution. 40 of those hours will be waived if she provides proof of the COVID vaccination. I'm not requiring anyone to get the COVID vaccination, but if she does, 40 of those hours will be waived. Parenting classes. Ms. Zuniga, I wish there was a class I could give mothers and fathers that was some actually, kind of class, Ms. Zuniga, that was some kind of class to say, stop letting complete strangers around your children in your children's life but I don't have that type of class. So parenting classes, if she completes parenting classes, Mr. Kimbrough, she won't have to do the remaining hours of community service. <laughs> and Ms. Zunica, if I can make it so that you're not involved with anyone until your children are of age and can take care of themselves, I would, but I don't have the ability to do that. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Proof of yes. employment within 15 days. Okay. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider with minors. And there's to be a UA tomorrow. tomorrow. If you're able to get one done today, then you can do it today. All right. Yeah, so no, there's to be kids. regular reporting by Zoom or in person. If she's positive, then I'm going to want intensive outpatient treatment with probation and a referral to felony drug court. All right, Ms. Zunick, I want to clear off the record. I want to explain something to you. I've been a defense attorney. I've been a prosecutor. And I've done CPS cases. Your attorney has done CPS cases. Let me tell you what I used to always see. What I would always see is you would have a female meet some guy who knows where, sometimes at a bar, sometimes at a bus stop, wherever. They would meet them on Friday bring them to their house on Friday. They never leave. Next thing you know, they're babysitting the children. And then in the words of Seinfeld, yada, 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 their child is raped or a child is killed and mom is crying because she's let some complete stranger around her children. So in this situation, you have some random guy that you said you didn't know that well, breaking into a neighbor's house, stealing things. And now you have a burglary of a habitation. So you need to be very careful, one, who you allow around your children and who you allow around yourself. And with that being said, I'm going to send you to a breakout room and probation will go over conditions with you. Mr. Kimbrough, thank you for your patience. And you can. All right. Court is calling 2019 CR 4221 and 2022 CR 3449, State of Texas versus April Petulia Zuniga. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense? Brian Kimbrough for Ms. Uh, Zuniga. Ms. Zuniga, in each of these cause numbers, I'm showing you what's entitled motion to revoke community supervision. Did you review those documents with your attorney? Did you understand them? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to need you to speak up. Yes, ma'am. 
Are you the same April Zuniga who was placed on community supervision in 2019 CR 4221 for the offense of driving while intoxicated third or more on November 14th? I'm sorry, November 4th, 2019 for a term of five years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. And are you the same April Zunica who was placed on community supervision in cause number 2022 CR 3449W for the offense of burglary of a habitation on April 11, 2022 for a term of four years? Is that you? Uh, yes, ma'am. State? Violated condition number three on or about the ninth day of October 2022 until the 15th day of October 2022 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, April Petula Zuniga, then in there associate with persons of harmful character in that said persons negotiate with the defendant to purchase or delivery of controlled substances in violation of condition number three. How do you place that true or not true? True. Okay, violated condition number three on or about the 14th day of October 2022 until the 23rd day of October 2022 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, April Patula Zuniga, did then in there associate with a person engaged in criminal activity a violation of condition number three. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Okay, last one, Judge. Violated condition number 41 on or about the first day of October 2022 in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, April Petula Zuniga, did then and there fail to comply with the rules and regulations of the felony drug court by entering an establishment whose primary purpose was to sell alcoholic beverages and remained at that location where alcohol was the main item for sale or consumption a violation of condition number 41. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. Right, state waives all other violations. Any objections to the state's waivers? No objection. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violations 3, 3, and 41 and cause number 2019 CR 4221, the court could find it true, grant the motion and sentence you up to six years in prison. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead uh, true to violations 3, three and 41 in that cause number. Yes, ma'am. Court will find that true. And in cause number um, 2022 CR 3449W, did you understand by pleading true to violations three, three and 41, the court could find it true, grant the motion and sentence you up to four years in prison. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violations three, three and 41? Yes, ma'am. And that cause number, the court will find three, three, and 41 true. Is there an agreement? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It's for the defendant to go to state ISF and to then go back to the drug, drug court program. Does drug court want her? Uh, that was a part of the um, probation recommendations. That's what they listed, that the judge was willing to take her back once she went through either state ISF or safety. And that was, yeah, the, Judge Glenn indicated that he would continue her in drug court if she agreed to go to state ISS. So that, that's in the in the uh, summary, court summary from, uh, from Mark Hewitt. Okay, so Ms. Zuniga, why should I just send you to prison? It appears that you haven't done anything except pick up a new case and hang around people you're not supposed to be around. So why should I just send you to prison? Because, um, I mean, I, I was doing everything like as of my classes, my UAs. I was no, you were in an establishment that's primary purpose was to sell alcohol, and they said you were arranging some kind of drug sale with somebody. No, no, I guess no, they were like, I guess, um, they, they were used, using like substance abuse. That, I can't but, understand a word you're saying. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't in the middle of any drug, like drug use or anything like that. The main thing I noticed is that Judge Glenn, whom I know and I respect, said that, and he knows this much better than I do, that he would be willing to keep her in drug court if she went to state ISF. Now, I, I mean, I know him, I respect him too, but I still don't understand why she do it. Well, I, again, I don't know the, the details of what happened with these individuals that she was associating with. She's not charged with any criminal offense other than me. So she's not accused of being involved in a drug deal. I don't know what that, I mean, I understand how it's worded, but I don't know what the, what the actual facts are in that. I've asked April and frankly, April's not helping me and I don't understand what happened, but 
the main thing I, I find is that she, the, the, the drug court said they will keep her. From my experience with drug court, they normally don't do that unless they see a reason to keep her because otherwise they want her out. They don't keep people that they don't think could benefit from drug court and could succeed, could succeed. Judge Glenn feels that she needs to go to inpatient and ISF is appropriate. I'm only asking the judge to give her that opportunity based on what the recommendation from Judge Glenn is. See, I don't know why they didn't just keep her then and send her to ISF. Well, I, I don't know how that works because I mean, they accused her of violating her probation. So I'm assuming that, do they have their own MTR deal in drug court? I mean, they could just not send her in. Um, we're gonna go off the record for a Yes, Judge. And we're not on the record. Ms. Zuniga, how old are you? 82. All right, so here's the thing. You have, could everyone please whisper? You've already entered your pleas of true. And I understand that people are in different seasons of their life. And I understand that sometimes people are treated badly in life. I understand that sometimes people are misused and abused in their life. But uh, I went into the hallway because I wanted to speak with Judge Glenn and your attorney was present and the state's attorney was present. Uh, it's very difficult to speak on the bench with another judge. So that's why we were in the hallway. And we were discussing things with Judge Glenn and here's the problem. The problem is people are trying to help you. People are trying to work with you. And I know sometimes it's difficult to change people, places and things, but in order to be successful, you're gonna to have to change people, places and things. And I used to always think that was easy to do because I worked as attorney in all the treatment courts before, right? And I was the original attorney. And when people would say, you need to change people, places, or things, I'd be like, hey, that's easy. But then when I started thinking about it, for example, if people told me to change people, places, and things, and they say, okay, Judge Boyd, this is what we want you to do. We want you to hang out with people who sell drugs. We want you to hang out with people who use drugs. That would be very difficult for me because of the circles I'm in. I don't know a lot of people who use drugs or sell drugs. Now I have people who come before me in court who do that, but it's not like these are the people that I am having dinner with or lunch with or say, hey, let's go painting with, let's go do painting with a twist. And while we're there, maybe we can sell drugs. So it would be very difficult for me to change people, places and things. And so in your situation, these are the people you've been hanging with. But if you want your life to be successful and if you don't wanna end up in prison, then you're gonna to have to change your people, places, or things. I was about to send you to prison and not for two years. I was gonna send you to prison for six years on one case and four on the other. And you need to make a decision on whether or not you wanna to go to prison. And you have children? Yes. You need to start asking yourself each time you're getting ready to do something, you need to ask yourself, is this something that will result in me not seeing my children for six years or not seeing my children for four years or going to prison for six years or going to prison for four years? Do you understand? Yes, At some point, you need to start putting your children above your wants, your needs, above the people you hang out with. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now, Judge Glenn said he's willing to accept you back into felony drug court. So <laughs> we're going to put a hold on her. And the whole is for felony drug court. And so felony drug court is going to take care of what they do with you. And I'm telling you right now, you're looking at either safe P or ISF with them. If you don't want to do safe P with them, you need to tell me now, because if you don't want to do safe P with them, then I can send you to prison. We can move on to the next person. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So if they uh, order you to safe P, are you going to be doing that? If that's the only choice I have for them. Um, yeah, that may be the, your only choice. And they won't have state ISF. What I'm telling you is, my question for you is, if they order you to go to Safe P, are you going to do it? Yes, ma'am. That's my only question. We can't write our own programs. If you could write your own program, guess what? You wouldn't be on probation for this because you would have been successful at it. 
So I'm not making a ruling. We're going to refer her back to felony drug court and she's to remain in custody for felony drug court. And uh, Mr. Kimbrough, you may want to make sure that you're in touch with um, felony drug court to make sure that they remember that this is not a first time referral. This is just sending her back. All right, is there anything else? No. You better change your ways. One or two things gonna end up happening if you don't change. Either you're gonna end up in prison, either you're gonna get a bad batch of drugs, in which case you may overdose. But either way, if you don't change your ways, you're not gonna have contact with your children. You understand? Thank you. All right, is there anything else? Um, All right. Uh, how long does it normally take for the felony drug court to? Oh, they'll probably get to you uh, this week. It's Tuesday. They'll probably get to you this week. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, are you ready on Ms. Zuniga? Uh, I believe so. What are we doing? Are we All right, doing can I have the follow on Ms. Zuniga, please? Mm -hmm. Just it? give me one second. So we're back on the record in 2022 CR. 3449W in 2019 CR 4221, State of Texas versus April Zuniga. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Uh, Jason Garahan, you're on. For the defense? Brian Kimbrough. And are you Ms. Zuniga? Yeah. All right. So we're here on December 13th. The defendant entered a plea of true to 3 3 and number 41. The court found 3 3 and 41 true. Uh, the state had waived other allegations. Uh, defense counsel in the state uh, conferred with the court and we all conferred with felony drug court, felony, well, not with this state's counsel, but the previous state's counsel and felony drug court uh, wanted her to remain in custody and they would accept her in felony drug court and send her to inpatient treatment. But felony drug court um, is informing the court that they're unable to accept her informed probation, they will not be able to accept her. So the court cannot refer you to felony drug court, but you do need treatment, uh, Ms. Zuniga. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, if you can state your name for the record and you can lower your hand. April Zuniga. All right, so Ms. Zuniga, um, I can either send you to inpatient treatment, which I think you need it. That's why I referred you to felony drug court. Or if you wanna renegotiate and be revoked, that can be accomplished as well. So would you like to get inpatient treatment? Yes, All right, good choice. Because we are trying to better ourselves, right? And we don't wanna come back here. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is um, I'm going to refer you uh, to safety. Probation, what's the wait time on safety? Approximately 17 days, Your Honor. All right, so they'll get you, they'll probably do a um, screening, but they'll get you there uh, quickly. Okay. All right, any questions? Yes. Question. I just want to confirm that that's on both cases. That is on both cases. The question, Your Honor. Yes. So as I understand it, she is not going back to drug court. When she finishes safety, she's going to be in this court for the rest of her probation. You will be in this court unless you want to be referred back to felony drug court because felony drug court is at capacity. And I know that sometimes people say felony drug court is hard and it is. I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, it was like, you know. <laughs> but here's the thing. It may be what's best for you because when you have a drug problem, you need somebody that can see you daily. I know they see you daily. I know they get reports on you weekly. I can refer her to SAFP, which I'm doing, and I can refer you to felony drug court after you're released from SAFP. I guess I'll go through you. Go See, people think uh, <laughs> this is a great court <laughs> All right, so um, probation, after she completes SAFP, I am going to want um, field visits. We're gonna start with field visits once a week. And if she's doing well on that, we will slowly taper it off. But I want field visits once a week for at least a month, and then we'll slowly start tapering it off. If she's doing fine, 
then we'll do field visits twice a month for two months. And then we'll go down to field visits once a month until further notice. All right, is there anything else from either side? All right, Ms. Zunica, any questions? Do you wanna complete this successfully? Yes. Get your life together? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. So what's up with the neck tattoo? Who is that? And then it's just a, a tattoo where is he? You're not normal. All right, so is it anybody you know or it's just- No, 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 it's just a regular tattoo. All right. Always, I'm always wondering why people get tattoos, what they're about. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,